Welcome to our video devotional for Monday, December the 21st, 2020. Thank you for joining me today. And this is the week of Christmas, so we're going to be looking at just a thought toward that direction. In Luke 2, 10 and 11, it says, The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Well, outside of Easter, the Christmas season is the biggest event in the history of mankind. The birth of Jesus Christ is the only hope for all of humanity in the world. And we could, we could talk about man's need. I mean, we think about this all the time because so many people in our world, in the United States of America, uh, have a tremendous amount of needs. Uh, sometimes it's, it's trouble, sometimes it's sickness, sometimes it's sorrow, sometimes it's just pain. And we often need help when, when our problems are greater than our ability to deal with them or cope with them. Sometimes that takes a financial twist. At other times it's emotional, like in the case of tragedy or death. But the most important area we need help in is with sin. The most important words any human being can hear is, your sins are forgiven. This issue of sin is primarily a spiritual issue. Its symptoms may appear emotional, physical, mental, and, and I believe even financial. However, sin is a spiritual issue. That is exactly what Christmas speaks to. So if we're attempting to answer a question, why Christmas? Christmas speaks to the greatest need man has ever had. The issue at hand is greater than any problem mankind has ever faced. It's greater than the epidemic, including the flu of 1918, which killed more people, five times more people than World War I. 40 million people died in, in the 1918 flu across the world. It's greater than Hitler's reign of terror in the 40s. Greater than the grand total of all people killed in all wars, all tragedies, all accidents. Man has been consumed by one major problem since he was expelled from the Garden of Eden. And that problem is the sin problem, the sin issue. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible teaches that the wages of sin is death. The Bible so clearly teaches that death on earth does not end conscious life as we know it. Man is immortal. Man will spend eternity either alive in a place called heaven, seated with God, or in a state of eternal death in a place called hell, a place where death is ongoing and you'll never, ever have a chance to have a right relationship with the Creator of all of eternity. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely no one needs to miss out on this gift that God offers. The only way to miss the gift of life forever is to reject God's offer. So why was there a Christmas? Why was there a Christmas? There, there was a time when God decided that he would provide for man's spiritual problem in a way that would make it possible for every man to spend eternity with him his creator. Christmas was the day God's plan burst into action. His one and only son was born on earth of a virgin. This Jesus, God's son, was to be the savior of the world. This is Christ the Lord. How would he be man's savior? Well, <clears throat> he would live a perfect life fulfilling all of God's demands for holiness. That is that someone would be a sacrifice without blemish and without sin. Jesus was that sacrifice. He would then offer his life as a sac sacrifice, substituting his death in the place of every other person who was guilty of sin and would die for their sin. Remember the wages of sin is death. That's eternal separation from God. Then God declares to us, if you want to live forever without tasting of the death that separates you from me, 
You must believe in my son and his death on your behalf. Turn from your sin to my son. That's called repentance. And receive the down payment on the eternal gift I'm offering to you in the form of the Holy Spirit and you will pass from death to life. The answer to why Christmas is because man, man faced a need for which he could provide no answer, none. You can't, I can't. So God gave us an answer in Christmas, Jesus Christ. So the angel said to him, don't be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this unspeakable gift of Jesus Christ, who died for my sin, was buried because of my sin, and resurrected to life. I praise you. I praise you for this glorious gift of life that lasts forever. And today again, I turn from sin and I turn to Jesus. And I pray that if anyone watches this video who is not turned from their sin, they would do so today. Thank you for Christmas. A reminder that Christ came to offer us a gift of eternal life. We praise you for it. Amen. Well, have a blessed day as you're uh, walking down these last few days before Christmas. Enjoy the day that God's given you and and bless the name of the Lord. What a, what a glorious gift we have in Christ Jesus. Be blessed.